So today we're going to go through monetary validation and uh, this really never uh, showed up on my test so you might want to keep it on the edges of your mind. Uh, the scenario for today is that the central bank wants to keep uh, Y at Y high and using EMP or expansionary monetary policy this is achieved but this causes one thing, it causes accelerating rising inflation and the accelerating rising inflation is where the inflation is out of control. So let's see what will happen. So we know that uh, naturally, naturally AS would like to move it left. So let's just mark that down. So naturally AS moves left in this case because uh, because because we want to return back to equilibrium. So well, naturally, AS would want to go back to left to AS2. But we, the, the, the central bank wants to keep it at uh, Y high. So what do they do? Well, before that, remember that Y and AE move together. They move together because remember Y goes AE, right? So Y and AE moves together. <clears throat> so yeah, what would the central bank do to keep it at Y high? Well, they'll, of course, they'll use the EMP. They'll use the expansionary monetary policy. And remember that this causes, this causes uh, I to fall, MS to rise, uh, and causes uh, Y and Z to increase. And Y and Z, Y and Z, they both increase and this is this occurs uh, when we have uh, remember this occurs when we have this demand inflation Z increases we have demand inflation so so what so this the following is what will happen uh, we would have uh, a low interest rate, right? This is what will happen. Low interest rate will cause more loans. Cause loans. <clears throat> and <clears throat> this will cause more money to be created, right? And you see all this money being created, but you see your own income uh, staying the same. <clears throat> So you compare your your money to all this new money that is being created. Compare your own money own money to this new money that's being created. So what would you do in this case? You'd ask your employer for more money. You ask for more money. For more money. And this actually causes something to happen. This actually causes expectation inflation. Because essentially what, what's happening is we're expecting inflation and we're, we're asking for more money. And that causes expectation inflation. And remember that the government causes, uh, uses EMP to cause uh, all this to happen, demand inflation. And in demand inflation, what actually occurs is that the the aggregate demand moves moves right to aggregate demand two eighty two. Remember, which we just did this in demand inflation, the eighty moves. So, EM, using EMP to make the eighty move, and it goes from P one to P two, and then what will actually happen is again the AS will naturally move uh, naturally move to the left. And then uh, the central bank wanting to keep the the Y at Y high, they'll move, they'll use EMP to keep uh, it to keep AD moving right. So essentially, what's happening is that naturally the aggregate supply is moving left, and the central bank wants to keep it so that Y is at Y high. So they use EMP. So what actually happens? The result of this of this. Uh, of this of these moves or uh, decisions results 
is that we have more money, but same level of output, same level of output. And we have higher prices. And this is what causes uh, uh, an accelerating rising inflation. It goes out of control. Prices will keep on rising until something uh, something else happens that stops this. Like pretty much central bank's uh, decision to uh, actually let it go back to equilibrium would stop it. But yeah, if the central bank wants to keep it at Y high, and yeah, this, this will happen. Uh, prices will keep on going up like forever and probably have like hyperinflation or something. And this is what I want to teach you in this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you.